With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, four point masses, each of mass small m, are fixed at the corners of a square of side of length L. The square is rotating with angular frequency omega about an axis passing through one of the corners of the square and parallel to its diagonal as shown. The angular momentum about this axis is now here is a square of side length L. This side length is L and there are four masses of mass small m that are fixed at corners of this square. Now we have to calculate the angular momentum about this axis. Alright. Now we know that for, for a mass m let's just say we have to calculate the angular momentum about this axis. So what we require is we require the mass and the perpendicular distance from this axis. Let's just say this is R. So here let's just say this mass is rotating about this axis with a certain velocity angular velocity omega. Let's just say this is omega. So the angular momentum about this axis would be i into omega where i is moment of inertia about this axis and omega is the angular velocity with which it rotates. So the angular, so the moment of inertia here is mr square and omega is the angular velocity with which it rotates. Now what we have to do is we have to calculate each and every one of the angular momentum here and then just add it up. Alright, so let's just say this is mass m, mass 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4th. So we know the angular momentum, the total angular momentum would be i1 omega plus i2 omega plus i3 omega plus i4 omega. Each and every one of these masses have a constant angular velocity omega about this axis. Alright, so let's just take it as a common omega is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4. Now let's individually calculate the moment of inertia of all of these masses. For the first one, i1 would be 0 because the distance here r for m1 mass here is 0 for i2 this distance is let's just say we have to calculate this distance right so this distance is the half of the diagonal this is the diagonal that i am talking about all right this is the half of it so let's just calculate it using so the area we can calculate it from area the area of this square is l square and we know that's that this triangle 3 2 4 in this triangle the area is half so the area is half l square or we can say this area is equal to half into base into height. So we can write half into base is. Let us just say this is the diagonal that we have to calculate the length. Let us just say this is capital L. Alright. Half into base into what is the height? Height is L by 2. Alright. So we can say that this is small l square is equal to capital L square divided by 2 or we can say our length, capital, our diagonal length capital L is equal to root 2 L. Alright. 
so we know that this distance is root 2 l divided by 2 this is the half of diagonal so this is root 2 l divided by 2 or we can write l divided by root 2 now we know for i2 this is equal to mass into half of the diagonal is l divided by root 2 l divided by root 2 into square square of it all right so this is ml square divided by 2 for i3 i3 this is mass into distance square the distance is this is the perpendicular distance that we are talking about this is perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation all right so this is m into l divided by root 2 square this is the full length of the diagonal so this is ml square divided by 2 for i4 i4 would be equal to i2 all right because their distance is same and masses are same all right now let's just put all the moment of inertia here so for i1 it is 0 for i2 it is ml square divided by 2 for i3 it is ml square divided by 2 plus i4 it is for i4 it is ml square by 2 ah this distance is pardon this distance is root 2 l this distance was root 2 l and square of it would get us 2 m l square so let's just put i3 here this is 2 m l square now let's add up this omega into this is m l square plus 2 m l square so this comes out to be 3 m l square omega this is our final angular momentum now let's match up with these options here 3 m l square omega our option 3 is correct for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today